Hey, physics peeps. So we're going to be getting into lab. I'm going to do a little bit of an outline for you. This is a fun lab to do with electricity. So <clears throat> first of all, the labs that we're going to be doing are done in these books. You'll find them at the lab tables, but uh, the lab is also called 13A. And I need you to take out a sheet of paper, brand new sheet of paper. Everybody in your lab group needs to do this. And, and you need a hand in all the stuff, all the questions answered, and all the tables filled out. Okay? So each person in your lab group needs to do that, not just one lab report for each group, one for each person. Okay? But <clears throat> you'll find the lab in here, and lab 13A, you'll find on page, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, page 57. And it'll say up at the top here, it'll say lab 13A. And, and they're all in order. So if you go to, if you're on 9A, keep going, it's 13. And if you forget that page number, it's all back here. And I'm here in the back of the room, crane your necks back here and take a look at this. This is the outline for <clears throat> the lab. Crane your necks, take a look at it. Surmounted, are they looking at it? Where'd you go, right? Make sure they look at it, okay? But <clears throat> when we are doing the lab, this is the outline and it's separated into different parts. In the lab book, you'll start at the very beginning of the lab and it starts over on part one. And okay? it'll have like a little triangle that says one, that's part one. And there's some stuff in here that you'll do. You need to make sure that you read through the lab and what you need to do. But it's not just one person, it's everybody in your group. And so make sure you have all the books at your table open so everybody can see what they're doing. And make sure that you also kind of switch up who does what. Like some people like to build the circuits, some people like to help answer the questions, some people make measurements. But you need to switch that up because everybody needs to get their hands on the circuits today you also need to get your hands on the multimeter. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But it's like, what exactly do you have to do with all this stuff? Well, if you ever have questions throughout the lab, you can ask Mr. Mao, but I would say first check back here because the outline shows you what you need to do. Notice up here where it says part one. Part one really doesn't have anything uh, listed next to it, but that does not mean that you don't have to do anything. It just means that you have <clears throat> to do part one, but there's nothing to write down on your paper. Part two though, part two you will do, and there are four questions that you're gonna answer, A, B, C, and D. Part three you will do, and there's just nothing that you have to write down, but you do it. And, and you'll find the equipment in uh, your boxes, or part three, it's in there. And part four, again, you'll have questions. And then number five, it looks like there's no questions, but I want you to write the stuff down. So everything's kind of listed out here. Take a look back here and you guys can have like one person in your group just kind of checking up here, what do you have to do? And as you get through uh, the lab towards the end, there'll be other special instructions that you need to do, all that kind of stuff, we'll get to that. And, but we're gonna focus on just what is it in your electric kits that you're going to be doing and how do you set things up? Because at your lab tables, you'll find a couple boxes. One's gonna be this white big box and inside you'll find our electric circuits, but they don't look like electric circuits. They look like boards with pegs on them and that's exactly what they are. And, but <clears throat> those uh, pegs are used to connect different devices to. I'll show you that here in a second. And your other box has the components inside of it. And, and the components have, oh, there's lots of stuff in here, guys. There's like little battery holders. There's like these light bulbs. There's this thing. It's, oh, it's a switch. Oh my gosh, this thing. What the heck is that, man? Look, it's got this red and blue and green thing. And what, what the heck are these? We'll, we'll figure out what those things are as we go. And, but what we need to really focus on are just some of the basics, like a switch that has a little lever that can open and close, and, and a light bulb 
Make sure that the light bulb is twisted in, not too tight because they can break all that stuff, but it should be twisted in. And then battery holder. Most of the things that you have in your kits have these little loops at the end of them. And what they are for are actually putting onto the pegs onto the circuit board. So if you want to add this light bulb onto it, we just have to slide those little loops over the pegs onto the circuit board and it's now going to be part of the circuit. And but if I want to complete a circuit with a bulb and a switch, awesome. I can put my switch on there. I just need to connect it to the same uh, peg as the other one so that it will flow through those devices. And then I need my battery holder and I might need some other wires. So there are other wires that you will find inside your kit. And, but <clears throat> some of your battery holders, sorry, some of them, some of them have been kind of breaking over the years and they are not easy to fix, but there are just kind of simple solutions to them. So if yours does not have wires on the end, put your battery inside the battery holder. And then to connect it to the circuit, uh, there should be these ends uh, <clears throat> poking out the ends of the holder. And, and those you can just set onto the board and you can press those uh, little ends or the tabs onto the pegs. And that should complete your circuit. And so you might just have to have someone hold it there. That's, that's kind of what we got. And, and, but it's good stuff, you guys. It's good stuff. You can, you can do that. And then <clears throat> once you end up building your first circuit, you'll start answering the questions that are uh, in the book. They're pretty easy going. And this is pretty easy going lab, but it's kind of fun. And, so that's the first part. That's some of the equipment. When you get uh, to part three, part three and four, it'll talk about conductors and insulators and ask you to try a couple different uh, objects into the circuit. And so <clears throat> that part, you will have to create a break into your circuit. And you could just do that by disconnecting a wire from one of the pegs, and now I have a break in the circuit. And I can put something in between there and the peg in order to connect the circuit with. And that's what we're gonna to try to do. And you have things that are listed in your book, kind of like a straw, a string, a nail, and a piece of pencil lead. Try all of those. And if you don't have a piece of pencil lead, see if you can find someone in the room that has a piece of pencil lead and try it out. And, and so that takes you through a good chunk of the first part of the lab. I'll have another video that shows other parts. But before that, you have to know how to use another very important piece of equipment uh, that you'll be using in this lab and some other labs uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. And in this piece of equipment, everybody needs to get their hands on today. You have to measure something with this. And that is this handy dandy tool. This is called a multimeter. And it's just what it sounds. It measures multiple things. But how you measure that, you, that's the trick. And so a couple of important pieces. You have the multimeter itself. But then you have these red and black wires that hang out of it. And they have like these little pointy ends to them, all that kind of stuff. And these are called leads. And say that with me, leads. And, but <clears throat> those leads, they all end up hooking into the multimeter in a couple different places. And there's a couple of spots that you really need to know, and we'll re be reviewing this over the next couple of weeks. So on the multimeter, down here at the bottom, there are three different ports that these can get plugged into. The black one, though, always goes in the same place. The black one goes in the middle where it says COM. It means common. Black goes into common. Black goes into where? Yep, goes into common. And so black will always go there. The red lead goes into the place on what you're measuring. And to start off in the lab, you are going to measure voltage. And the voltage is uh, abbreviated with a V. And you'll see a spot on there down here at the bottom where it says V. 
and it's right above this port. So that's where if you want to measure voltage, you will plug it into that spot. It should be plugged in there for you already. But just in case it's not, make sure the red lead is plugged into what you want to measure. And then <clears throat> once you have those in the right spot, you have to turn the dial to the correct position. And there's lots of things on here that it will measure out. Like it has this V that has a straight line above it, it has this V with a curvy line above it. We'll talk about the differences between those here later. But then it also has stuff like A, batteries, and then it has like this weird omega symbol, like it's the end of the world. But we'll talk about what that means. And <clears throat> but what you want to turn this to is we want to measure out voltage. And we want the voltage that has the straight, straight lines. There we go the straight lines above it. And that means direct voltage, and we will talk about that later. But the thing that you want to use <clears throat> for this lab is um, you want to use either 2V or 20V. So one of those two. And I'm going to write this on here because it's that. So one of these two markings is what you want to use on that multimeter. And the reason is because it, well, we'll get into that later. Let's get into that later. But measuring voltage, you set it on 2V or 20V. You make sure that the red lead is plugged into the voltage part. And then you should be good to go. If you're not getting a reading on 20V, turn it to the 2V and you should probably get a reading. And if you're not getting a reading on 2V, switch it to 20V and you should get a reading on that one. And but that's kind of the gist on how you use it. If you want to measure something with those leads, we have to place the leads across the object. So if you wanted to measure the voltage of a battery, you have to place the leads on both sides of the battery. We say you're measuring across it. And so when I do that, I will actually get a reading on my multimeter. And yeah, so when I take a look at my multimeter, it's turned on and the display when there's nothing on there will just say zero. And but if I were to touch this across, then I start to get a value and, and it'll say like 1.59 or somewhere in that ballpark, all that stuff. And yours doesn't say exactly 1.59. That's OK, because it just depends on. Uh, the battery and how much it's going to use. But besides that, yeah, that kind of gets you started on what you need for the lab. So a couple of important things. Everybody does their work, so everybody needs to be looking at the instructions and know what to do. If you're not sure what to do, you can ask your lab partners. That's one. And second is you check on the board and see what it is that you need to do next. Then after all that and you haven't figured it out yet, then you can ask Mr. Mel. And or the substitute that's in here. But I believe Mal, you're in here. No. Yeah. OK, good. Sweet. OK. <clears throat> but <clears throat> make sure that everybody's uh, writing things down. So each person will hand in their own um, piece of paper with all the questions answered. And then uh, make sure that everybody gets their hands on the multimeter before the end of lab. And you need to know how to use this. You need to know how to adjust it. And you need to know what makes it work. And, and that's, that's kind of the gist of it. And I'll have another video here in just a little bit to uh, clarify another part of the lab. Just hold tight. Thanks for following along with that, you guys. Have fun with the lab. You'll be good. All right. See you in a bit.